Welcome to episode three of the DapChap Show. And today we are finally going to talk about dating, namely online dating. Uh, there's two reasons for this show. Uh, the first one being that I find that there's quite an abundance of female bloggers and vloggers who uh, report on their experiences with uh, online dating. And uh, while I totally empathize with them, and I do understand that uh, there are quite some horror stories to be uh, had out there, uh, I also thought it was about time that um, they got to see the other side of the coin, but also it's a uh, public service for all the chaps out there who need to know what types they have to look out for because uh, it can be pretty hairy out there. So uh, here we go. So type number one, we have the husband hunter. To observe the husband hunter in her natural habitat is to bear witness to a need for domestication at its most extreme. The husband hunter will put security, predictability, far ahead of things like love, laughter, and social compatibility. Or, you know, what the ancient sages would refer to as the cornerstones of a relationship that has a chance of lasting. My own personal experience with one husband hunter saw her recommending that we have our first date, wait for it, at her parents' place. Yeah, no thanks. Type number two, the man-hater who needs a man. This one's special. She hates you and all the other chaps out there. But she also hates herself because she wants what you've got. Hmm, what a pickle, huh? You'll recognize the man-hater right away when she starts talking about what a piece of shit her last boyfriend was. And the same for the guy she dated before that. And the guy that she dated before him. Until you get the impression like she's had very bad luck her whole life and never met a chap who is not a piece of shit. To engage the man-hater is to risk having your nether regions recoil inward and your masculinity brutally assailed on a regular basis. Type number three, the nurse ratchet. Ever read One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest or watch the movie? Then you're familiar with how callous uh, the fair sex can be. Unlike the man-hater, Nurse Ratchet doesn't hate men because she doesn't even understand them, or women for that matter. Who the hell knows how she got to being so socially detached from humans and unable to relate to others, but you'll know her when you ask her how her day went and she responds by accusing you of playing games and asking such a damn stupid question. Type number four. The Disney princess. Okay, we'll admit it, she's hot. But like the old saying goes, it doesn't matter how hot she is, someone, somewhere, is sick of her shit. True words were never spoken. Sometimes, the Disney princess got to being the way she is not just because of her looks, but also because her parents actually convinced her she was aching to royalty with an incessant barrage of compliments. You'll recognize the princess once you check out her profile and it reads like a job application. The kind of job that only a George Clooney or an Henry Cavill could fill. As a confident chap, you might be tempted to try and see what could happen, but be warned, despite her pleasant exterior, the Disney princess's soul is a scorched, barren field governed by the cold winds of entitlement and self-indulgence. Number five, the lifer. She's more common than you may think. Some women have given themselves over to online dating for good. Is it an addiction? Maybe. A hobby? I guess so. Some telltale signs that you've encountered an online dating lifer include she'll instruct you on how many pictures to put up on your profile or to list uh, what pastimes you enjoy, like she was appointed hall monitor of the website. Oh, and another thing, you'll find her on every single dating site. Now, think about that for a moment. There's nothing wrong with dipping your toes in a couple of streams but just think of how many popular dating sites there are and how each one of them is packed with thousands of guys. I mean, seriously, how much of a spiritually broken, emotional burn victim do you have to be to not find one guy in all that variety? We've just published a book that is designed to take you away from the perils of online dating. Now, I'm not gonna tell you what the title is. The reason I'm not gonna tell you what the title is is A, I wanna save the surprise, but B, I don't want you to go on Amazon and buy it. I actually want to give it to you for free. And the way you get this book for free is by going to dapchap.com forward slash dating book. And you just go there and you can get a downloadable copy. And with that being said, good luck and we'll see you in the next episode.